Good morning. Um, it's Sunday. It's like 10 in the morning. We were randomly awake at like 6, 5.30 to 6. And talking. Does anyone else do that? Like I swear it's, I don't know if he could tell I was awake or if I could tell he was awake, but the other one will wake up because we can tell that the other one's awake. <laughs> Um, anyways, but we both fell back to sleep. Morgan's sleeping. I like just got out of bed. I've been up for probably an hour, but I've been awake for an hour. Not up for an hour. And I'm going to put some coffee in. On. I want to get a bigger coffee scoop so we don't have to do so many scoops. But I do one less scoop per cup of water. So if we do 11 cups of water, we do 10 scoops of the coffee and that seems to be perfect for us. Um, also while I'm thinking about it, I have, keep getting comments about my skincare routine and I'm thinking it's because there is a beauty filter on this camera and I don't know how to turn it off. I'm honestly too lazy to Google it. I don't mind it, I think it's fine. Um, but I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot of you know, compliments on my skin. And don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with the strides that I've made with my skin, but like let me, see if y'all can so like this is what the camera's showing okay this is accurate okay i think it's trying to yeah it's blurring the it's blurring this also but you can see there's like you know some spotting discoloration i like wish i knew how to turn this off so you could see the difference but anyways just so you know i do not have perfect flawless skin um but for the sake of skin routines i can show y'all later everything that i use but i keep it really really simple um, I use CeraVe, um, face wash. Sometimes I use the native one because I still have that one left over. It's not my favorite. Um, I prefer the CeraVe, CeraVe, whatever it's called. Um, cleanser. I take off my makeup first with micellar water or like a makeup balm of some type. Those are kind of oily though, so... Um, I love to use them, but they get in my contacts, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like then my contacts are like blurry, so I don't like always go to those. Um, and then I just use Tretinoin. And then I use Tretinoin, that's a prescription sort of like retinol kind of um it's really good for as you're aging i would say if you're in your 20s 30s 40s 50s never too late to start it but it's just a really good thing to have in your regimen for your skin and then i moisturize with either cerave or lately cerave or vanny cream vanny cream is really thick i like to use that when i feel like my nose is kind of drying out things like that um sometimes right here on my cheeks will dry out so i'll put it there like extra there before i go to bed and sometimes i put some vitamin e oil on like as a last if i want to like look like a glazed donut when i'm going to, be going to bed i'll do vitamin e oil on my face um as well but super simple no intense skincare companies nothing expensive even the tretinoin prescription is like 30 dollars a month um, you can get that from your dermatologist or you can go to NURX, N-U-R-X, not affiliated with them. That's just where I got it from. Um, and it's just like an app and you like chat and say that you want it and then they give you the prescription and it arrives in the mail. It's pretty cool. So anyways, there's my skincare talk. I am working on my grocery order. I keep forgetting that I'm doing this and I'm going to lose my time slot. It's already five o'clock is what time I can pick up the groceries for free without having to pay extra. Let's see what time it says I need to check out at. Reservation expires at 1044. Okay, so we have like 30 minutes. That's fine. Um, working on what we're going to eat this week. You have food. I already looked. Yeah, go eat it. Mm-hmm. Tell us about it. I got him this food bowl right there. It like sits up higher. So cute. 
our um our vet actually recommended that okay bye <laughs> um a bowl that sits higher and i couldn't find one so i kept putting something under his other bowl and then i finally found that one at home goods for like eight bucks but anyways tortellini soup is the last dinner so steak potatoes and green beans mongolian bowls which is beef rice and like ground beef rice and zucchini um tortellini soup and i think that's it for the week because tonight i'm gonna make a chicken enchilada skillet um, I'm at around noon. I'm gonna throw in some frozen chicken with some taco seasoning and salsa into the crock pot and Then tonight I'll like shred it up Add corn black beans in a skillet and then cut up some corn tortillas mix it all together I'm gonna go spend time with Hachi because he's feeling very neglected clearly at this moment um, We always cuddle while I make coffee. So I think he's butthurt about that, but um, Yeah, I just thought we'd hang out today and I'll show you a little meal prep that we're doing or that I'm doing and we'll bop out, we'll get the groceries, and we'll just hang out. Big feelings this morning. I see that. Okay, so we're about to put together the chicken for tonight's dinner. I'm doing a chicken enchilada skillet thing um so it'll be like shredded salsa chicken i'm gonna add black beans corn i have some green chilies in there i'll probably throw in and then you cut up corn tortillas and put that in the skillet and like mix it all together it's like deconstructed enchiladas essentially um so we're about to throw this in the crock pot why is there always crumbs I actually know the answer to that. It's because our crock pot sits below the like half shelf where we keep our toaster and the toaster like, you know, crumbs fall out of the bottom because I'm not cleaning that every day. Um, so there's always crumbs like on one side of the crock pot. Okay, got that. Um, we're using the last of the Costco chicken breast. So probably need to do a Costco run. Honestly, we have it in so long. We maybe go to Costco like three times a year. That's like not really utilizing the membership, but truly with it just being me and Morgan, like I find that we don't have space to like buy a ton of stuff at Costco. Like there's just not enough room in the fridge, the freezer, the pantry, you know? So we have to like eat everything we own before we can even think about visiting Costco. I'm gonna go in with the Lowry's seasoning we really like this one um, I might do like half now and save some for the skillet after because I just feel like that seems like a lot and I'm just gonna use the on the border medium salsa we opened this yesterday actually when we had some chips and salsa so I'm just gonna finish it off because we do have some other salsa that we can top it with tonight all right clean hands lid I'm gonna do high for four hours. Actually, yeah, let's do high because I I don't want it to not be ready. And don't lock these. That always makes me nervous when people lock the crock pot. Only for only for transport, not for cooking. At least every crock pot I've ever owned. Okay, at some point I'm gonna shower and not look like a trash can, but here we are. Um, blast from the past. We're getting out the dry erase version of my meal planners. I don't think I have any more of the dry erase ones. I'll have to look. I definitely have more notepads though. If you are new here, I used to sell meal planner like notepads and then I did a, this is magnetic and it just sticks to the fridge, um, meal planners. And this was one of the um, designs. So cute. I actually had our um, cleaning routine that we never once did written on here so let's just erase that okay um and i'm gonna fill it out because i did a little meal planning this week also i have our this is my memory box filled with like all sorts of college and high school and younger photos and stuff but i was pulling out some no i keep like I, these are just the ones i chose but i keep um notes that me and morgan write each other 
And I'm so glad that I do that because I saw on TikTok this thing, I'm sure you all have seen it now, it's kind of popular, but um, for cocktail napkins at the wedding, you put like the handwritten note that, you know, that you wrote each other. So we'll do like one that I wrote to Morgan and one that Morgan wrote to me. Just like little like one sentence things. It doesn't have, like I'm not gonna put our entire, you know, notes on there especially the ones that I write. These are these two are Morgan. I don't think I pulled any of my cards out, but like when I write a card to Morgan, it's like the whole page. <laughs> um, but I pulled out just some of our little like love notes and I'm gonna get with Morgan and see like which ones he wants to use for our cocktail napkins. Um, but there, I was like literally sobbing reading some of these this morning. Um, this one says, good morning, beautiful. Have a great Monday and reminder that you are literally my favorite person ever. You are my heart. Love you. So cute. This one he wrote, you're the most amazing person. I'm so lucky to call you mine. Cheers to a good week and another one to come. I love you, Lauren Stevens. Sweet. Um, this one, the inside of the card says, I'm so glad we agree on the important stuff. And he wrote, like the fact I'm head over heels for you. Love you, girl. So anyways, I pulled out, um, I love his, they're so sweet. And there's a couple from me on here. Where, did I pull out other ones from me? Where are the rest of them? I put this one to him. To love of my life, I dream every day about marrying you, raising kids with you, and growing old with you. I can't believe you're all mine. In love with you more each day. And I wrote that in response to his good morning beautiful one. So sweet. So as I was sitting here sobbing, reading those, I think I do want to use part of this one. Like on the cocktail napkin, I dream every day about marrying you. In love with you more each day, Lauren. Like I put like the heart. So anyways, I need to take pictures of these so I can put them into Canva, delete the background. There's like a whole thing. If you're interested in that, I can try to do more wedding content. I just haven't yet because I don't like have enough to like physically show. And I don't want to make a video where I'm just sitting talking at the camera about all my ideas. I want to like show you things. So we're getting there now that we've got like all the main stuff booked. I'm doing the details, um, starting to order, place orders and stuff. So there will be wedding content coming soon. But for right now, let's focus on the meal plan. Okay, so I wrote this down in my notes app actually. So let's just pop over. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna, I just decided to do egg cups for me and Morgan. He's gonna do um, ham and cheese. And then I'm gonna do potato and sausage and potato. So there's that. I'm gonna do chicken Caesar salad. Morgan gets lunch like out on the business every day. So he usually picks up Chipotle or a sandwich or something like that. Um, Cause they pay for his lunch. So lucky. Um, for snacks, I got some yogurt which I'm gonna try this like protein PB2 situation. Um, I also got crackers and cheese. And we have fruit, which is just strawberry and pineapple. Um, and then for prep, we're gonna prep the egg cups. And then I'm gonna do dinner, or sorry, lunch with my dad tomorrow and chicken Caesar salads the rest of the week because he'll be out of town. Um, so tonight we're doing the enchilada skillet. I, don't know that we're gonna have leftovers, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Monday dinner as the Mongolian beef bowls. Okay, Lauren, learn how to write. Sorry, I realized I should have been zoomed in. Don't, don't judge my handwriting. This marker is like so thick. Okay, so Monday, Mongolian beef bowls with zucchini we won't have leftovers for that so tuesday i think i'll do um tortellini soup because we will we should have leftovers of this tortellini soup I'm trying to decide if i have a wild hair to make a homemade focaccia today um i don't know 
I can't decide. But we do have two slices of cheese bread in the um, in the freezer, so we might just do that with that. Uh, so Wednesday we'll do leftovers. Thursday we're gonna do steak and potatoes with green beans with GB. Um, and then Fridays, we don't really know. We usually do a date either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, like dinner or a brunch on Sunday. So I'll just kind of leave those days open for now and we'll figure it out on Thursday. But there you have it, this week's meal plan. And there you have it, it's done. And we need to clean the fridge off, but I'm glad that's done. Okay, didn't turn out that pretty, but it's okay. I'm gonna add some chili onion, chili onion crunch. All right, so the chicken went just about four hours and I turned it off. Um, and then I kind of got distracted. So we're gonna have to bring it back to life a little with the juice, but that's fine. Shredding really easily though. I don't have a second fork, so just ignore how I'm doing this. Okay, but really, what are we running errands in these days? I usually like a good sundress in the summer and I'll just like throw my hair in a clip, but my hair is dirty. I literally have to wear a hat to leave the house. It's so bad. Um, I cannot wait to take an everything shower tonight. I'm gonna tan. I'm just feeling kind of blech. It's like I just finished up my period week. Sorry, TMI, but yeah, I'm just, oh, I'm not feeling very cute. So I'm excited to do my hair treatments tonight, skincare, get a good tan on, and just feel good tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it took me like 30 minutes to leave the house because I just, like couldn't find one outfit to wear just to pick up my groceries. And I'm walking into Target for like two seconds. And I'm just in it, I ended up just wearing a huge t-shirt and athletic shorts. And I just feel like, ugh, about it. But I don't know, let me know. What are we wearing to run errands? Especially my girlies that live in the South, the Southern United States where it's hot. Because it's 81 degrees outside right now, so leggings and like I have this one little jacket I love to wear in the winter and fall it's like a thin zip up but like it's too hot to wear that and I don't know what to wear so anyways I am gonna go to Target and then go pick up my HUB -E order I just need the Mongolian beef sauce at Target um, I have been seeing a lot of cute clothes and like athletic clothes that I kind of like could I wear that to run here I don't know, I might just like take a peek. I really don't need to be spending money at Target on that stuff though. So maybe I'll be strong and not look. Um, but I think I'm gonna stop at Sonic and get a, either a Coke Zero, but I'm kind of feeling a Diet Cherry Limeade, not gonna lie. I'm usually a Coke Zero girly, but I just feel like, I don't know, a little flavor. I would love an iced coffee. That's kind of what I really want, but it just seems like too much caffeine. It's already 4.45. So I think I'm gonna go Diet Cherry Limeade. Or honestly, maybe I'll just skip that all together and get like a poppy or something at Target to drink during the meal prep when I get back. I don't know, it'll be a surprise for us both. Hey, hey you got it all. I got it all. That's slay. I'm about to do a um, haul. Okay. Um, okay, y'all, I am back from 
getting groceries. Let's start with Target because I don't really get much there. So I went for the Mongolian garlic sauce. I did pick this up. Let me zoom in a little bit so you aren't so far away from everything I'm trying to show you. I can never figure out the zoom. There we go. Oh, is that too much? Okay, Mongolian garlic sauce. We got that. This we just add onto some ground beef, like half of a cup onto a pound of ground beef, serve it with rice and vegetables. And we're gonna do zucchini this week with that, or tomorrow with that. And then I also got, I was gonna stop by Sonic. I love a good sodi uh, when I'm out running errands and like to bring back with me, but I just thought I really don't need it. It's kind of out of the way. Um, and I thought when I'm in Target, I'll look at the Olipops and get a couple. So if I want one tonight while I'm meal prepping, I'm gonna have either the Tropical Punch Olipop or the Orange Squeeze. We'll see. We got those. And then also when I was picking up the Mongolian sauce, this was right, it's kind of at like the end of the aisle. And on the end cap was the Alanya News. And I decided to grab a couple because I think I only have two more at work of the mini ones. I wish they had every flavor in mini because I cannot drink the full ones. They just like give me know the jitters a little bit but um I wanted to pick up some new flavors they had the cherry twist which I think is like cherry lime I'm assuming looks like this and then also the orange kiss which I think I've gotten a couple messages about this one people asking if I've tried the new orange one that Whitney Simmons I don't know if she like talked about it or if she worked with them on it or something but I think it has to be the orange kiss I'm not really sure but I picked up that one too so looking forward to trying those. And now I haven't even unpacked this stuff, so this will be in no particular order, but let's just jump right in. So I picked up a new rice. I'm gonna try this with the um, Mongolian beef bowls. This is VT steam filtered, perfectly fragrant Thai jasmine rice. And it's just, you know, pre-cooked rice and a little thing. It's the exact same amount that you get in the Uncle Ben's, um, the same amount that you get in the bins rice so i like that and i just thought let's try something new so i ended up picking up two of those we'll just keep these in the pantry um they're good till february 25 love that i also did get one of the bins rice just regular jasmine we always just keep that on hand and we used one the other night so just restocking i got some tomato paste i do like to get the one in the tube because i feel like i can just Okay, of course my battery died. It's the story of my life during every grocery haul, it seems like. Um, but I was just saying I like to buy the tomato paste in the tube because I feel like it doesn't go to waste like the can would. So I got that for, we're gonna eat tortellini soup one night um, and I needed some of that. I picked up a light creamy Caesar. I'm gonna do chicken Caesar salads for lunch this week. So I'm excited about that. Probably won't see that meal prepped because tomorrow I think I'm gonna go the like eclipse thing is happening, so I don't really know what's going on. I feel like everyone's like, I don't know. It's said that the like roads are gonna be crazy and stuff, so I don't really know what the lunch plan is, but I think I'm gonna go to my dad's house because it's supposed to be like better. You can like see it better where he lives um, over lunch, so I might be with him. We'll probably just eat something together. Caesar salads the rest of the week though with chicken. Um, I did get some ground beef. This is just the 93% whatever for the Mongolian bowls. Also for that, I picked up two zucchini. Uh, I probably really only need one for the recipe, but anytime I get one, it ends up being like a miniature zucchini or a dead of a zucchini. So I always get two just in case the first zucchini sucks. Um, they actually did me so good. Are we in zucchini season? Because I feel like we must be. These are literally massive, but that's great because I love zucchini. Um, I also got some hot Italian sausage. This is what I'm gonna put in the tortellini soup. So that'll be delicious. For the salads, I got some romaine, just the big, the big one. Ooh, this is a lot smaller than I anticipated. The Tillamook, um, what is this? I don't know, white cheddar cheese. I got like a fancier one. It's like $6, but it just sounded good. So I got that. Some half and half. This is for the tortellini soup. It called for heavy cream, but I thought I would get more use out of half and half so it didn't go to waste. Um, I can use this for like iced coffees and stuff, especially for Morgan. He'll really like that. I had to restock just some unsalted butter to have on hand, so I got the store brand of that. They had a deal on the light and fit yogurts. I was just gonna get one, but it was like two for seven. Um, and these will be good until May 9th, so we have a good solid month 
to work on these. And I just got the vanilla. I keep seeing people mixing in protein powder. I want to give that a go. I feel like I'm going to hate it, but I'm going to try it. Um, also mixing in some PB2 or like drizzling PB2 on the top after you mix in protein powder. So we'll see how that goes. I also just like them by themselves and they're 12 grams of protein, only 80 calories. Also picked up some eggs. I got the big 18 pack since we're going to do egg cups, which reminds me. Go ahead and start the oven. We're going to do egg cups for meal prep. So I got a lot of eggs. Spinach. This is for the tortellini soup, but I might actually use some of this in the egg cups too. Why not? Picked up some Parmesan. This is to top the tortellini, tortellini soup and also for my Caesar salads. Got a little thing of fruit, just some cut up strawberry pineapple. Morgan loves that. I love it too, but that's really his jam. And then my go-to, the Tyson Blackened Chicken. I buy this constantly. I'm obsessed with it, it's so good. Um, and then I also got the black pepper herb. They don't always have this one, but they had it this week, so I picked up this as well. These are kind of expensive. They're like $9.50 a bag. They're frozen. They last a long time, and I do feel like you get a good amount. They're like chicken, you know, they're chicken strips. They're not breaded. They're delicious. Air fry them for like eight minutes, and you're perfect. So I had that. Um, I also got some Fairlife milk. Also could be good for some iced coffees. But I got this for a recipe, actually just like a muffin recipe on the box. Um, and I also picked up a creamer. We're almost out of ours. And I think that might be it. Oh wait, how could I forget croutons for my salads? Oh, there's quite a bit of things over here. Okay, Mio, I got the Wicked Blue Citrus. That one Morgan really likes in carbonated water. And I've been kind of wanting to try that too. I got an onion for the tortellini soup. Oh no. Is that what I don't think this is supposed to be honey ham. And this is turkey that is not good I wonder if I just added the wrong thing I bet I did dang it I just typed in like honey maple whatever chose turkey okay huge bummer I mean I'll eat turkey but that was supposed to be for Morgan's egg cups so hopefully he's fine with sausage because that's what we have um, but I think that is actually everything I got. So I'm in it. Oh, egg whites, just a store brand. And then I got these thin wheat crackers to go with the cheese as like a snack. Um, I really want to try these right now. I want to see if they're like wheat thins, like how close they are to wheat thins. It's obviously the store brand version. Exactly the same. Yay. Wheat thins are like weirdly expensive. So that's why I went with the store brand and those are actually so good. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I'll get with y'all. I'm not sure if I'm gonna meal prep first or cook dinner first, but I'll cap catch up with you when I figure it out.
Okay, so we're getting dinner started. I just moved the, let me get my light out actually. I love this little thing. It just like sits on top of my camera and makes everything so much brighter. Isn't that crazy? Love it. All right, got that baby in place. This is the chicken that I made today with the salsa. I'm about to add the red enchilada sauce. I'm gonna drain and rinse these black beans. I'm also gonna drain and rinse the corn, throw those in, and also some green chilies. And then I'm gonna get out my corn tortillas and chop those while this kind of like marinates all together. Okay, these are the tortillas I got, 25 calories, not even 25 calories a piece. It says four tortillas is 90. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna track the calories on this. Let's see, it's four. And I'm gonna do strips and then cut these in half. Okay, here's my finished serving. I grated up some uh, cheddar and some pepper jack and we each added some of that to the top. I added some Daisy light sour cream to mine. Gonna grab a water and that's dinner. Okay y'all, we just finished dinner, um, delicious. I'll give you Morgan's review here in a minute. Here are the egg cups and then I made these little mini casserole things for me and they turned out so cute. I'm excited, I did feta on mine, so I'm hoping I don't regret that decision. Okay, so we finished dinner. What did you think? First time making this recipe. Yeah, it was good. And it was like, it was just like if you make lasagna, lasagna if you make enchiladas in a casserole dish, it pretty much came yeah, out the same like, way at the end. Like anyway. layered, is yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. When you layer them instead of roll them, it was literally exactly the same. Yeah, it was very good. So I ended up using four extra tortillas and what y'all saw, so 16 of those total. Um, and it was perfection. Honestly, so good. I think the leftovers are gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be good leftovers. Yeah, Play so we might those. have to even push off, how much do we have left? Ooh, a lot. a lot. So we'll probably have that tomorrow and then push off the um, Mongolian bowls another day. And we put pepper jack on it, which was actually pretty good. That was good. We that mixed was a good pepper call. jack and cheddar, but the pepper jack was really good on it. Mm -hmm. It needs, I will say, it needed a little spice. It needed like a kick of something. So next time I could maybe use a hotter enchilada sauce. Or you could put like, if you like the sauce, you could put like a sauce in there. Yeah. Like salsa or whatever. Mm -hmm. but More was, salsa. I liked it. Something hot for if, sure. Or even instead of um, the green chilies, you could do jalapenos. Oh yeah, you maybe. could. So that's an idea. But we're gonna um, pick up from dinner, get the kitchen put all back together. It's actually pretty clean, um, which have a couple of dishes to do. We'll put away those egg cups once they cool. And I need to go do my everything shower because this hair needs to be washed, this body needs to be tanned so we can have a great week. Okay, so I did my everything shower. I've got to get a haircut, you guys, in April. <laughs> I have to do it this month. Um, I have so many split ends, it's terrible. I need my hair healthy at the ends again. I'm really liking the shampoo and like the regimen I'm doing, um, but like there's just no coming back from crappy ends. So I need a haircut. Um, I didn't have time to tan tonight, so it is what it is, but my pillow got delivered. Um, I have had like terrible like neck and upper back pain lately um from like i can tell it's from the pillow that i'm using and it didn't bother me for a long time and now it's really bothering me and so me and morgan switched he was sleeping with a memory foam pillow that i used to hate and so he started using it and loved it um and he switched back with me for a couple of nights and 
now my neck feels fine and his, he woke up so achy and hurting this morning. And I was like, okay, we need another memory foam. Um, he's gonna keep the one we have for now and then decide if he wants to get a new one or not. But I went ahead and ordered one for me on Amazon that had delivery today because I can't sleep another night on crappy pillow and neither can he. This is, I literally just ordered the one with the best reviews. It had like four and a half stars, 15,000 reviews. Um, and okay, it's like staticky. Um, and it could be delivered today. And those were my that was my requirement. Delivered today. So this is what it looks like. I just got the queen, like a normal size, not a king. Um, it's kind of coming to to size, but I got the one that's like. Can you see the way it's shaped? It's like thinner in the middle and then it has the like neck support. Um, I really like that. I am a side sleeper and like a stomach sleeper and I really wish I wasn't because I keep seeing TikToks about how like that terrible that is for you. Um, but I have night terrors when I sleep on my back and so I don't really know, like I can sleep on my back, I can fall asleep, but nine out of 10 times I end up with night terrors like it's like as if I'm in bed, exactly you know, like I'm in the house. I've woken up and there's something in their house. There's someone in the house. There's somebody dragging me out of bed. Like really realistic. Like I, it literally feels like I'm awake and it's hard to like discern if I am or not, if that makes sense. And like eventually I figure it's like, you know, I, I figure it out in the dream and I'm like, this isn't real, wake up, wake up. And it's like almost like sleep paralysis at that point. Like I can't pull myself out of it. It's not fun it's really scary and i avoid it so it hasn't happened in a while because i don't sleep on my back but anyways if you have any tips about that situation let me know but we'll see how this goes i will say it's not as firm as our other one but it feels nice um so i'm gonna go put and it has a zipper case which is nice so i guess you can wash it and if i was you know a good human I would take this off and wash it before I slept tonight. But I will be putting my pillowcase on this immediately and going to bed because I don't care. It'll be fine. But yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think of this pillow. It was on sale, I think it was like $39.99 or something. Um, sort, of, sort of pure US, I don't know. I'll let you know if it's good. Thank you so much for watching today's little Sunday vlog in the life. Love hanging out with y'all. I've been liking posting more, having fun posting and getting back to editing and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, we'll end it there. See you in the next one.